Coming up today on YOLO Texas. I am so excited as a private pilot, I get to fly a T6A Texas. All our recipes are time tested. My family's been doing this for hundreds of years. The names of all your wines are hilarious. Yeah. Who comes up with that? Oh, everyone, it's a group effort. <laughs> Join us on our trip across Texas. We are here in Del Rio, Texas at Laughlin Air Force Base, which happens to be the birthplace of many of our nation's Air Force pilots. I am so excited as a private pilot, I get to fly a T6A Texan. But first things first, I've got to do a little bit of training and go try on a flight suit, which I'm also very happy about. So let's go do that. So this isn't just a standard helmet. Now on your helmet, you're gonna encounter a oxygen mask. So this oxygen mask has an inhalation exhalation valve and it's comp capable. The T6 is equipped with two of these Martin Baker Mark 16 seats. And they have a whole ton of connections to keep them secure in the aircraft and secure during the ejection sequence. Do many of the pilots that you guys train wear cowboy boots for uh, the training? Probably not typically. Probably right? not though. So we're pretty much going to simulate you hanging from a parachute right now. Okay. Is that all right? All right. Works for me. All right. Now slowly sit down. Make sure you're actually caught into place. All right. Once you're looking at that, you're looking at the terrain. Make sure you're not going to land into any like cows or cactuses, right? You can avoid <laughs> yeah. those at all costs. Reach up, grab those red toggles. All right. And you're steering into what? Into the wind. Into the wind. That's correct. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? So starting off with a flight suit. So you will be issued a flight suit. When it comes to boots and flight gloves, you wanna make sure that uh, you have designated uh, non steel toe boots and you wear your flight gloves at all times correctly. Well, President, thanks so much for having me. I'm super, super excited about being here yeah. for a lot of reasons. But uh, for folks who don't know, what's the primary mission of Laughlin Air Force Base? Well, and welcome, JB, and we're excited to have you here. Our primary mission here at Laughlin Air Force Base is to train the Air Force's newest pilots. So we describe it as we build airmen, leaders, and pilots. And on a given year, we'll run around four to 500 pilots through their initial, what we call undergraduate pilot training where they receive their wings and then go off onto their advanced uh, major weapon systems from Laughlin. What attracted you to the Air Force in the first place? Uh, to be honest, I think most of us that are of my age would lie if we said that somehow Top Gun didn't influence us <laughs> uh, to some degree. So I was, I, I was going to say, the last time I wore something like this was to a Halloween party. And you, you, were, know, so. and you were Maverick or something uh, yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. yeah, yeah. So, uh, certainly at a young age, I just had this desire to fly. My, my dad was actually in the Army Air Corps, uh, so there was certainly a family influence there, but going through high school, some some other opportunities, and I'm very grateful they did present themselves, and I, and I was able to enter the Air Force and become a pilot. What are the primary planes that you guys train in here? So what we'll do is when folks arrive, they'll enter into three phases. It takes about 12 months for a student pilot that comes to Laughlin Air Force Base. That first phase mm -hmm. is ground school. So they'll do a no number of academic classes, they'll do a number of tests, and then they enter phase two, which is the T6, which is our primary trainer here, and it is across the Air Force. And then when they complete that, they'll track to one of two other airplanes, primarily. The first one is the T-38, which is our fighter-bomber track, again, another six months, or they'll go to the T-1, which is where our tanker transport pilots will go. Advanced navigation, advanced cross-country, advanced instruments, 
before they go off to any number of aircraft, whether that be tankers, large cargo aircraft, etc. So, you know, being based here in, in Del Rio, I mean, do you, uh, do you get off base much to uh, get, uh, get around the city? We do. All these great things that you hear about Del Rio, whether it's the wild, the wild game dinner or the uh, Fiesta de la Amistad or any of the number of these events, there weren't as many of those last year, unfortunately, for understandable reasons. But the Military Affairs Association, our civic leaders, the people of Del Rio, are some of the nicest people that we've ever met in our in our 22, 23 year career. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to give me this background. And seriously, I'm, I'm itching to get up in this plane. I'm, I'm ready to wrap this thing up so I can get out there. But I uh, appreciate everything you're doing for us. For the country, this being the engine of, of a lot of the pilot creation um, right. is a pretty cool mission. So thanks so much for the time. Yeah, thanks JB, and great to have you here. And I look forward to seeing you after the flight. Thanks so much. Awesome, great, yeah, thanks for being it. here. We got Mafia 01 will be us today out there. We're going to be leading the formation out. We'll be taking off at approximately 1418 is what we're looking for. And then we have Mafia 02, which will be Trigger and Loki flying with us out there today. Don't bring any explosive things. That's probably a good idea. Cool. Or alcohol. Don't bring that. Cool. Three, two, one. Yep, that was good. Any burning questions right now? I don't think so. No. All right. I'm super excited. I'm, should be I'm fun. really excited. Yeah, yeah, you should be. It'll be a yeah. lot of fun. We'll get to go upside down and do the fun stuff. We did a bunch of turns, we did a couple uh, loops. Uh, I got some stick time, which was great. It's a dream come true to fly a T6, but I flew, I got dunked, and now I need a shower. Adios.